What's going on, Clan AD here? Welcome back to another adventure with the Blood Prince, a Dark Eye vampire whose mission is to conquer the world. In the previous episode, we have been making some progress on Castle Blood here. We've been laying out the groundwork for a lot of buildings that we're going to be building in the future. We've got a lot of them on pause currently uh, because we're trying to get our defensive uh, buildings up, defensive turrets. We've got four people up here on some harpoon turrets ready to go. Uh, we have been getting attacked by skin bandits, so we've had to bail out from that assault because we're just not strong enough to probably defend against it because they're sending a ton of guys. Um, so yeah, in the last episode we acquired some some more um, slaves for us to use for us to uh, utilize, and we've got them running around working. We've got horseweed here just standing around. Get to work, man. In this episode, we're going to continue building out Castle Blood, but we're also going to uh, venture out and try to capture some more skeletons because we're going to need some more people for defense. So we're going to get into some more battles here. Um, but yeah, we got to get a lot of these buildings complete. I've got another stone processor too being built here so that we can kind of get more uh, building materials. We're going to need a lot of those. We've also got a raid coming in. Uh, let's see, Elite Hunter Assault is right outside the gates here. And yeah, they literally have just arrived. And they, I can't even see what they're fighting, but it might be the Crab Raiders. Yeah, there's a giant crab out front of the gates. We got Black Grillos fighting something in the, uh, fighting land bats, I guess. Got some drifters up there. Uh, but anyway... As you can see, we've got a really nice moat here. It's where it's a moat of acid, and people have to swim through it to get to us. So if they survive the acid, then we've got two turrets up or two towers up here to peg them. Now with skin bandits, because they're skeletons, they're immune to acid, so that doesn't help. But anything else we get attacked by, this is a great defense. So we're just gonna wait, I guess, until they get over here. We got T Lord, the Blood Prince, and Jeebus over here working on engineering. We got three engineers running around. Uh, Jeebus is kind of temporary engineer. T Lord is basically our engineer, uh, who's got who's been doing most of the work. Inside the bunker, T Lord is getting our weapon uh, stands and armor stands up. We also built some general storage chests here. So we can store a lot of our generic loot. And uh, we've got, yeah, the weapon stands being crafted. And yeah, we can put our armor in there. So that's great. And then we also have the uh, item furnace, which is awesome because we, you could just put loot in there that we don't want and produce raw iron. So that's always nice. Now out front, I've put... Uh, Multi-barrel harpoon turrets. I can't wait to get these crafted, but we're gonna need steel bars, alloy plates. So um, we're gonna need to get our crafting crafting building uh, complete. The other thing I put is a swivel-mounted searchlight. This is an automatic light that basically just pans around. So at nighttime, if we get attacked, this we'll have two of these searchlights, kind of like. Go skimming through the water, so if anybody tries to sneak in, we should be able to see them. I've also got some uh, searchlights up here. Back over here in Hope, Mr. Jack has built a tanning bench, and we got some leather here. We're gonna need more leather, but we're gonna put this leather in the craft uh, in the research bench, and then from there we should be able to research. Yeah, here we go. Padded leather helmet. Yeah, this is uh, padded leather armor. It takes six leather. Right, so we need... Uh, damn, we need ancient science books. Uh, we need two ancient science books and five iron plates in here, as well as leather and steel bars, which we have, to get the Gosu uh, Gosuku armor sets. Let's see, we need four AI cores... Advanced weapon grades. I think I'm gonna get advanced weapon grades and then I'll get edge walkers We have four AI cores, so we should be able to complete that. It's a good thing. We have a bunch of AI cores 
That's one thing I recommend if you're going to uh, do a lot of research. Just go exploring first and, and stock up on all of this stuff. Because if you're playing with Genesis, um, they've basically made it so that everything requires AI cores and more advanced uh, components. If you're playing with just vanilla, then you don't need as many many uh, advanced things. But we, we definitely do for Genesis. So let's throw these in there. All right now we should be able to get edge walkers that requires four ai cores okay we can get the impalers armor set let's go ahead and get that and yeah the i want to get the gosuko armor okay that'll keep him busy but we're gonna have we're gonna have mr jack work on some more leather here for a while Alright, so one thing I've noticed is that you have to actually swim out here a little bit and talk to these people. Otherwise, the event doesn't go away. So we've got United Cities out front. Okay, wait a minute. We've got a giant crab headed right towards us. Okay. We've got four people on the turrets. Let's see. Do we have this one built? Yeah, we got this one built as well. Let's see. Let's get uh, Cyberblade. You're up there, man. Since you got crossbow skill, even though turrets are a different skill, you've got 49 in turrets. So get up there, man. Get on that. All right. See? Here's the event. Deserka, come speak with me. Hey, is that a... That's a dark hive. Thought you could shake off your bounty. Well, where I'm from, we never forget our enemies. Bro, you didn't bring enough people, man. You terrorists of the Empire, die! Okay, here they come. Get owned by a giant crab! <laughs> nice. Alright, so they're fighting this giant crab out here. Crab is not doing much damage, though. Okay, here they come. They finished with the crab. And now they're headed this way. But, uh... Enjoy acid damage, fellas. Oh, Vashu! Vashu tried to... Tried to make it. Hey, we could recruit some more people this way, too. If we get attacked by uh, some skeletons, hopefully... We'll be able to take them prisoner. Well, this guy's got specialist grade everything. Plated tabby boots. I want those. Oh, these guys don't stand a chance. Oh, yeah. We're firing from that distance. Cyberblade, you beast. I don't know why in the last episode they weren't firing. But, yeah, they can fire this far. So... This is awesome. Just take them down. The other guys are retreating. <laughs> Deserka, where are you going, man? Where are you? There he is. Okay, he's immune to acid. Come here, Deserka. Cyberblade, why aren't you firing? Get this guy. Nice. Oh, wait. Yeah, I gotta change his job around. Make sure that the job is first before anything else. Okay, it looks like Midnight is firing. It's only Midnight. Why isn't Benji firing or any of these guys? I wonder if it's the way the tower is positioned. I have no idea. They should be firing. Shoot first, ask questions later. That's checked. Turn off heal allies. Let's see. Sit with idle. You guys should be firing. Yeah, he's toast. Oh! Took one right to the face. 
Everybody shoot at this guy. Alright, he's down. He's super strong, though. Maybe we should get him. Recruit the war leader. Let's go pick him up. At least. There you go. Bring him back over here. Solid. Let's see, his men are just getting crushed. Yeah, let's first aid him. We'll put him in prison for a while. Let him sit in prison. And, uh, yeah, go ahead and first aid him. And take his weapons. Alright, we got some lights up. So we got some uh, searchlights out front. So now we can actually see something. We might not even need these uh, swivel-mounted searchlights. But, uh... Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll build them and see what they look like. I don't think I've ever built those before. We, uh, we've got our station house built, so we'll be able to start building all the crafting stations fairly soon. I wanted to stock up on some supplies first before we do that. Um, I want to upgrade this manual iron refinery before we start building the crafting stations. We need to get this to level 5, and we need about 50 iron plates, so uh, we're going to have to stock up on those for a minute. I built a couple food storages here, so now we can place down all of the food that we have. And that way people um, can go here and eat. And I think our slaves are actually eating as well, so that's a good thing. Um, I placed down pretty much whatever everybody had in their inventory. So we've got a lot of supplies here and a lot of weapons and so forth. And we'll be outfitting people with different weapons later on as we as we get stronger. Also got a uh, crossbow locker here where we can put crossbows. I, I got a crossbow in here. I need to transfer. Yep. And uh, I put some bolt storages outside. I don't think we need more than two right now. I'm going to actually recruit this person here. Dezerka. Let's get him on board. All right. Welcome aboard, Rai. Another subscriber of mine. Uh, you can follow your character around. We need more. Sh we need stronger people for the battles ahead. Let's see. Let's take a look. Rai has really good stats. 105 toughness. 107 melee attack. Holy hell! I didn't even get that high. Damn, this guy's crazy. Okay. Well, you're gonna be a beast. Let's take a look here. You've got high-grade armor. Let's hook you up with something else. There we go. Oh, we can give him masterwork grade samurai equipment for right now. And uh, let's see. Weapons-wise, he has uh, no bonus to anything. Damn, we can give him pretty much anything. Uh, heavy weapon, maybe? Yeah, we'll give him a huge cleaver. And uh, we'll give him a backup weapon here. A tachi. There we go. Sweet. Alright, we need to get some skeletons, so... I'm gonna put a squad together here. Probably of just Hivers or something. Let's see, we've got the Blood Prince, Rye... Alright, I'm gonna take the Blood Prince, Rye, Malcolm, Patrick, Blofeld, Sir Headcrab, Lady Sharky, and Timothor. Some of our stronger uh, people here. And I think we're all immune to acid, so... I'm gonna send everybody across... We're going to go Assault Spring down here in the southwest. And uh, see if we could take some more of those skeleton guys to have uh, to recruit. I wasn't able to recruit those other skeletons that we got in the last episode. So I had to let them go. Apparently Lady Sharky isn't immune to acid. We need to get her a better, some better gear. Anyway, let her get let her come back here for a second. Let's hook her up with something better than what she's wearing. There we go. Now she's got a uh, plate jacket, masterwork grade, and high grade samurai pants. It's a little bit better. And she's using a holy cleaver. We could probably give her something better. I think we have a better cleaver in here. Yeah, we've got this paladin's cross. Let's hook her up with that one. What's that look like? Damn, that looks sweet. Alright. 
So Rai basically has epic stats except for swimming. He's terrible at swimming. <laughs> Malcolm has 103 swimming. But uh, all the robotics. Yeah, see these limbs are... We're gonna have to have him rest. Blooded Raid moving towards castle. What is Blooded Raid? Not exactly sure what that is. All right, I'm gonna leave Malcolm just because he's slowing the party down a little bit. I gotta get him some better robotic limbs. Okay, so it's the Reavers sending a blooded raid. Well, they're not even gonna reach us. I don't have to worry about it. We got a ton of gorillas over here. I wonder if we can lead them into this Leviathan. And holy shit! King Mong has escaped. King Mong has escaped. Wow, he's taking a he's been taking some some uh, hits. How did he get out? Wow, how did he escape? I want to know. Let's see if they'll attack the Leviathan. There we go. Come on, Leviathan. No, don't attack us. Let's see if the gorillas can do some damage to it. Seems like they're having trouble attacking it too. I think they are actually uh, doing some damage. I can see a little sliver going down on its health. So it looks like they are hitting it somehow. Anyway, let's go ahead and attack King Mong. Let's see how we do. We got our best people here. We should be able to uh, do some damage to it. Everybody grab it. Take your backpacks off, though. Let's go. Take them out. Nice hits, guys. Timothor, get in there, man. Get over here. What the hell, Blood Prince? What are you doing? What are you doing over here? Get off of your job. I don't know what you're doing. All right, back to the battle over here. Blood Prince, I don't know. He was going back to base for some reason. He just abandoned his people. Timothor is getting hit from behind. Take out this goat. Yeah, look at this. Nice hits. Sir Headcrab, how you doing over here? Okay, take a little beating in the left arm. Got the blood prince moving in. All right, this thing has 150,000 health. Okay, Rai's doing pretty good here with that weapon. Nice, good swings. All right, let's see. Oh, all right. Taking some hits here. Damn, if only the Blood Prince had that robotic limb. He'd get his speed back up. He's running so slow. Alright, 142,000 health. Okay, hold on. We're getting attacked here by a third party. We got some Hivers. I'll just stay on it. Come on, Blood Prince. Damn. Nice, Blofeld. Alright. Blood Prince has made it in. Timothor is fighting over here, uh, the South Hive. Timothor is taking a... He's losing a lot of blood here. Patrick, go over here and help him. And Lady Sharky as well. Get over there. There you go. Damn, Timothor. Go block, man. There you go. Alright. Nice swings. Alright, 
Uh, Sir Headcrab's left leg is hurting bad. Better get him healed up here. Let's get him out of the battle. Alright, we're at 130,000 health. Holy hell. Blofeld is down. Okay. Damn, Sir Headcrab took that hit to the leg. Let's go ahead and get, get uh, Blofeld repaired here. Damn. We'll take that, Patrick. This thing has 98 strength, 123 dex. God, we're not even... We're not doing much... I mean, we're holding our own, but... And Timothor is down. Alright, watch out, Sir Headcrab. There you go. Alright, Patrick. Why don't you get back out of there and heal up. Get you back in this battle. Damn, Rye, look at you, man. Kicking ass with that weapon. Sir Headcrab getting his dexterity up like massive amounts right now. 31. That's great. Uh, Tipithor, watch out, man. Alright, Blofeld's back in the action. Alright, we got it down to 118,000 health. Whew. All right, Patrick is still healing himself. And then he'll be back in the action. Uh, let's see. Okay, Raya's down. Timothor is going to fight these, uh... Yeah, head crab, why don't you get over there and fight these gorillos? Okay, Blofeld is took a hit. Damn. Alright, Patrick, come on man. Alright, Patrick, get over here. Help out Timothor, it's our head crab. We don't want too many third parties in this battle. Blood Prince is tanking this gorillo, but not by much. I mean He's still taking damage. So... Yeah. I think Lady Sharky is doing better out of everybody. She's like literally the best. <laughs> she has so much HP. She's the strongest in the game, it seems like. Oh, forgot to give Rai some med kits. Here. Take some off of these guys. Oh! He just kicked him in the nuts. Come on, man. There you go. Crushing blow. Alright, there. Heal up. That right leg healed. There you go. Alright. Let's get back in on this. Good lord. Alright, Bloodfeld is down again. Negative 79 to the chest now. Ouch. Okay. Okay, Patrick is down. Damn. Ugh, Timothor is down. Good lord, I don't know if we're gonna win this. We're still he still has a hundred thousand HP. A hundred thousand blood. Damn, Blood Prince is taking a beating. Get out of there, man. Alright, let's go ahead and heal. Let's see, who needs healing? Blowfeld some repairs on him. Alright, he's in a recover, recovery coma. That's fine. Just keep doing the damage. Oh, Patrick is down again. Damn, this thing is strong. Alright, we've got it down to 86,000 HP. 
All right, I've got Rai over here trying to heal Timothor. Blofeld is fine. Bloodprint's got knocked out for the first time. Good God, no, Patrick, get out of there. Good, negative 75. Okay, we need somebody to heal Patrick. Sir Headcrab, get to Patrick, man. Get some repairs on him. You don't want him taking a big hit like that. Lady Sharky's just gonna have to keep this thing busy. Good thing I gave her some better armor, good lord. Alright, Rai, get back in this battle. So, Headcrab, take out this Gorilla. Actually, Rai, take out this Gorilla, too. Alright, Blood Prince, you're back in. Nice. Keep at it. So, Headcrab's probably gonna lose his leg. He's at negative 78. He gets hit there, he's gonna lose it. Oh, Sir Headcrab is down. Negative 89 on the leg now. Got these damn goats. Oh, alright. Timothor. Blofeld is uh, still going strong. Lady Sharky still. Kicking ass over here. I mean, Blood Prince is down. Damn. We're down to 60,000 HP on King Mong. Whoa. Jesus, this guy is super strong. Damn it, I want to capture him and release him in the Holy Nation. <laughs> Can you imagine? That would be epic. God, I don't even know what they would be able to do against him. He would destroy the entire town for sure. Timothor's back up, but I don't know for how long. Sir so Headcrab has to stay out of this battle. His leg is negative 97. He's got to stay out of here. I'll put him on hold for right now. Patrick is down. We're at 40,000 HP. We almost have him down. Come on, Ryan. Get some swings in, man. Rise down, damn it. So head crab, take out this gorilla maybe. Or no, it looks like Patrick's gonna get it. Alright, heal up Patrick. He's got a lot of damage on his stomach. Alright, Rai, go on hold over here. You gotta heal up a little bit. Damn, Patrick's negative 30 on the stomach. We're gonna have to have him hold back at two. Alright, you guys get over here, come on. We'll have uh, Lady Sharky and the Blood Prince kind of tank this thing for a minute. Lady Sharky is just insane, look at this. She still hasn't taken that much damage. God, can you imagine if we had like five of her? Blofeld's back up, getting back into the battle. We 
We almost have him down. 1,400 blood left. Come on, guys. Timothor's back up. Get in there, man. All right, 500. Come on. Get some, get some damage on him. There we go. 100. Come on, couple more. Okay, everybody's fine. Is that 50 blood, 30 blood? Come on. Nice! Finally got him down. Holy hell. Look at that. We didn't even damage his limbs that much. It's mostly the blood that that they lose. Can you imagine? He's He doesn't even have anything. There's no point in even killing him. Alright, I'm gonna first aid him. Oh, wait. It's gonna... You know how many med kits it's gonna take to heal him? <laughs> we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to craft some med kits. Alright, I'm gonna pick him up. <laughs> we need to improve... I'm gonna put him in a cage. We're gonna take him back to base. We're gonna keep him. Come here, King Mong. We got everybody limping over here in the aftermath. Alright. Let's, uh, you guys just heal up here. Hang out for a minute. I think we have in a, uh, a raider event. Well, actually, I don't even know what happened. Did they even make it? Did they die, or? We got some crabs over here. Oh, we got bounty hunters coming after us. Uh-oh. Guys, get into this battle. Son of a gun. Good lord. Okay, get in there, crab. Let's take a look at Sir Headcrab's stats now. He's already up to 40 decks after that battle. Jesus. Well, not only is this going to be our uh, training area, this is going to be our prison area as well. We've captured King Mong. Let's go ahead and put him in a prison. And I made a nice little cell, especially for him, right in here. <laughs> Can I put him in there? Uh, let's see. Let's try. Yes, I got him in there. <laughs> He's stuck. Are you... Can I recruit him? Oh, dude. The Grillo nods, accepting defeat. Nod back. You both nod and form a bond. Friend. We've recruited King Mong. <laughs> dude, that's so sick. Honestly, we're gonna need some strong creatures for for attacking some of these larger towns. So this is gonna be epic. How the hell are we gonna heal him? We're gonna run through all our med kits. Yeah, everybody's gonna go through every med kit they have trying to heal him. Dude, that's so cool. Yeah, I mean. We need basically the Blood Prince basically needs a big a big ass gorilla as his personal bodyguard. That's just he's just gonna sit in the throne room with the Blood Prince. So anybody wants to take out the Blood Prince, they're gonna have to go through King Mong. <laughs> he's gonna have to be in base for like a long time though, because he had I don't know how much blood, hundred and fifty thousand blood? It's gonna take like a lot of in game days to get back. Timothor is back up. Welcome back. Okay, we're gonna have this group kind of just hang out for a minute because we're still on a mission here to uh, get some skeletons. All right, we finally healed him. 
Let's go ahead and let him out. And we have our own personal gorilla. Hold on a second, I gotta pick him up. There we go, put him down. What a beast. What a beast. This guy's awesome. How much food does he take? Holy hell. This guy eats a ton. Now that I think about it, I'm not really sure how much health King Mong has. I don't know if he had 15,000 health or if it was 150,000. It was really hard to tell because you can't really see the... Uh... Yeah, I guess you can see the extra numbers here. So this is definitely 25,531. So maybe he only has 15,000 blood because I don't think I saw a third number there. Um, I'll have to play it back and look at it, but... Yeah, so maybe he only has 15,000. But either way, that took forever. I was fighting him for like 30 minutes, I think. Um, I had to basically skip a little bit of that battle because it was just insane how long it took. Uh, I'm going to send back our group here, Sir Headcrab, Lady Sharky, and everyone that fought King Mong. We're going to send them back and have them rest. And um, I'm going to send another squad. We've got Benno, uh, Agnew... Let's see, Demon Bay, Pixel, Lord Said, a couple other people. I'm going to have them meet up with the Blood Prince. And this group is going to go down in here into Spring, and Assault Spring. Hopefully we can get some skeletons. One of the things that I've installed is a new mod called Legendary of Kenshi. This is a mod that makes the game really uh, even more difficult. It increases all the bosses in the game to have epic stats, so people like Ten Fist... Um, the Holy Lord Phoenix, Lord Tingu, pretty much all of the main unique characters have all been beefed up into insane stats. So 1v1, these guys are insane, like they would probably one hit you or two hit you, something like that, depending on the type of armor. So it just makes the game even more difficult. So one of the things that I did was, um, for anybody that was using my Savage Lands mod, I actually just changed my Savage Lands mod to get rid of all of the changes that I made to uh, individual unique characters and I just left the mod uh, changing creatures and animals in the game so which is what my original intent was and because legendary of Kenshi and stronger group combat basically cover uh, all of the characters in the game uh, there's no point in me doing that too which basically was starting to overwrite changes that those two mods make so here's how I have it right now is basically I have Legendary, uh, stronger group combat in my mod list first, then I have Legendary of Kenshi, and then I have Savage Lands below that, overriding the, uh, the creatures in the game. So that way, stronger group combat does some things that Legendary of Kenshi doesn't do, but Legendary of Kenshi does, uh, change some of the, the, uh, characters that stronger group combat does, but basically I'm having Legendary of Kenshi overwrite stronger group combat, and then I'm having Savage Lands overwrite Legendary of Kinchi and Stronger Group Combat as well. So basically, um, we're going to have a lot more squads roaming around, a lot more uh, people in squads. And then we'll have really high level unique characters. And then we're going to have world bosses and creatures such as Gorillos with really high health, like you can see here. So... Stronger group combat basically adds more to squads, too. So that's one thing that uh, Legendary of Kenshi might not do. So I'm having, I have all three of those mods installed. And it's basically just making my game super insane. And we're just going to, you know, of course, continue to increase the difficulty and some of the sliders in the game difficulty as well. Um, you know, try to make things as, as hard as we can. But if you want to see all the things that I did to my Savage Lands mod, if you're using it, just re read the patch notes. I put an uh, update there so you can kind of check out what I did. But basically, uh, King is probably the hardest creature in the game. He He's probably just insane. Like, I, I don't even know. We'll have to check him out and see what his stats are. But, I mean, he's, he's just, he's got insane health. Uh, insane stats and also basically a lot of health <laughs> so it's gonna take an army to take him down some of you guys wanted to see my graphics settings so this is my settings right here 
Um, yeah, so I got view distance at 5,000. Terrain detail at zero because you can't really make a difference in this saves on performance. Um, I got pretty much everything pretty low here. And let's see, medium quality tex uh, texture quality. And then I changed RTWSM shadows from 496 to 2048. I haven't really noticed much of a difference in performance. Uh, and then I changed water reflection just down to landscape instead of everything. And then down here, we've got 5,000 on the shadow range. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's kind of what I'm rolling with here. So we're going to take this fight to the anti-slavers. And we'll see if we can pull out a couple skeletons. Let's see, we got a hiver out front. But yeah, look at these guys. Anti-slaver recruits. These guys right here would be perfect. Perfect turret guards. They have pretty low stats. And uh, we can just keep them on turrets all day long. So that's going to be our goal here. All right, I'm going to send the Blood Prince in and have him pull some of these guys. Let's see if we can take out a few at the front. Get them out of the way. We need to find some skeletons, so we want to kill these slave, uh, these hivers. Got to be careful with these turrets, though. They hit hard. All right, hold on. Get out of there. Lead them back this way. And these guys, those turrets hurt. <laughs> All right. We are under attack, he says. <laughs> yeah, you, no kidding. Oh, good swing. Took out his right arm. Oh, this guy's toast. Well done. Okay, let's heal up here. Nice. There we go. Take him down. Okay, we killed the front guards. Now we just need to... Oh. Hold on. Not far enough away. I've got the rest of the squad down here a bit. So we can lead lead them out, out of the front gates. I don't want to aggro too many, if possible. Alright, let's go in. Run up there. Take out these guys. Ouch. Come on, get up there. There you go. There's one. There's two. <laughs> oh! Shitty troublemaker, he says. There's another one. Get this guy. All right, try not to kill him, though. Damn. All right, he's down. Kidnap him. Let's get out of here. Come on, come on, run. God, what the hell? Let's go. All right, keep going. Go, go, go. What the hell are you doing? Get over there. There we go. All right, nice. I don't know what the hell the pathfinding was doing something. Okay, this guy's rebooting. Let's try to get... Let's bring him down to the rest of the squad here. Alright. Put him down. We're gonna do repairs on him. Or maybe pick him up before he falls off the cliff. <laughs> Might be a good idea. Alright, get some repairs on him. Okay, nice. Let's have Eile pick him up. There he is. Okay. Nice. Alright, we got him. There's some weird weird issues with uh, the terrain here. If people get knocked out, they'll probably fall off the cliff and we'll never get them. <laughs> okay, there's a ninja guard somewhere up here. He must have limped back and got healed, damn it. Alright, let's go back in. And uh, we'll try to get some more skeletons. Just gotta try and knock them out and bring them back to the squad. There you go. Nice. Blood Prince is like, you're dead. Take your blood. Stay down.
Took his arm off in one swing. The less people on the turrets, the better. Can I get up there somehow? Oh, I gotta go through the whole town to get up there? That hiver has a bounty. I wonder if there's any skeletons in here. There's just a bunch of tech hunter guards. Damn. Um. Yeah, see, these guys would be great. This slaver recruit. I'm trying to find more of them. What about the bar? Okay, yeah, these guys super strong. Most of them are skeletons, though. Here we go. Here's an anti-slaver recruit. Let's get up here and take this guy. Come on. Take him down quick. Nice. All right, kidnap him. I think I got him. Oh, shit. Where am I? Go, go, go. Get out of there, go! This is why I need a new robotic limb, because it's gonna get me killed. You gotta be able to run fast. Oh, there's that crippled ninja guard! Oh, I gotta take him! Damn, I probably just led them right, right to them for him to heal. Ooh, we got our land bats. Nice. Land bats for protection. Okay, sweet. So have Demon Babe pick him up, kidnap him. All right, we got two recruits. Let's see. Two more skeletons. Let's see if we can get a couple more. I want to get that guy on the ground, maybe. We got our land bats attacking. Let me see if I can get this dude down here. Let me get this guy. Oh! Holy hell! Look at that swing! Just took out like four dudes at once. God dang, that was awesome. Come on, let's run. Where do you think you're going? Sit down. Okay, let's put down this ninja guard. Let's do some repairs on him. These guys are throwing my land bats outside. Ouch, man. Get hit. Get hit hard. Get up here. You want none of this. Damn, get these guys on the turrets. Holy hell. Come on. cliff here. Oh! What the? That was awesome. Sweet. Let's get kidnap this skeleton. Alright, Benno. Kidnap that guy. Nice. Alright. A couple more. Oh, here's a doctor right here. Come here. Get this guy. Don't let him get away. Where's he going? This is the doctor. He's going around healing everyone. Wait a minute, where is he? Dude blends in with everything, I can't see him. <laughs> yeah, he's super weak too, we'll get him on the turrets. Nice. Okay, uh, let's repair. Pixel. Kidnap him. There we go. This is great. We're going to come back with all these skeletons for turret guards. There's another one. This guy is hella strong. 95 attack. Did 
Damn, I can't get this one. Ah, I killed him. Whoops. Should have just picked him up and ran. I'm having trouble with this one South Hive. South Hive ho soldier. He's doing only two damage though. He needs a better weapon. It would be kind of cool to have a South Hive on our squad. I don't think we have a South Hive yet. Maybe I'll take him. Let me get this guy. We'll take him with us. Alright. Let's see. Uh, we only need maybe one or two more. Oh. This guy's just come right for us. Nice. Okay, hold on. Let's not let the Blood Prince kill this guy. Let's have... Agnew, take him out. There you go. Stay down. Go hold. There you go. Nice. Perfect. Okay, Agnew can pick him up. You still have a mission. <laughs> That's right. You're not going to die yet. You're going to swear fealty to the Blood Prince. We've got two guys over here twerking. This guy's fighting me with a fan. Yeah, he's super good too. Okay, we got uh, the ninja guard up here. Or, yeah, just they keep replacing me. <laughs> no matter how many we kill, they just keep coming. All right, should we get this one? We've got 90 attack. Look at this skeleton right up here. Damn, this guy looks like a boss. I want it. I want this guy. Let me see if I can get him. I really kind of want to see how strong Tin Fist is. Let's see how strong he is. This is probably a stupid idea, but... Might not even be able to escape now. There's Eon. There's Tin Fist. Holy hell, dude. Look at that. He's got... 114... 111... 130 strength. 128 dodge. So he's definitely been beefed up a bit, for sure. And it looks like he has, yeah, this guy here, gray, he's worth, he's got 95 attack. And, oh, who's this? Uh, just a couple of other skeletons. Well, yeah, I guess it's, it's pretty much random, I guess, when you create a new game I imported. Let's see if we can get out of here, though. <laughs> just run, man. Damn. Might not get away from him. Just keep going. I could probably get away because they're just not doing enough damage to me, even though I and I can regenerate. Oh yeah, I gotta heal this guy too. I totally forgot about him. Okay, all right, let's get everybody moving here. I don't want to get knocked out. All right, we're gonna have to fight here. All right, attack all, crush him. Everybody take your backpacks off. This is serious. I usually leave them on until things get nutty. Alright, let's try not to get knocked out here. Come on, guys. Do some damage. Come on. Nice. Good hits. Somebody's doing some crazy damage. Hell yeah. Bitto! Holy crap, dude. You are a beast. All right, Demon Babe up here owning this guy. Blood Prince needs help. Big time. Come on. Help me out here.
There you go. Nice, guys. And not anyone went down. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, hold on. I'm sure they're not getting back up. That's it. Well done. Everybody's still got their guy, right? Yes. Okay. Let's move. Footprints. Kill this one. There you go. Alright, let's go. Nicely done. Everybody's healed. Got our land bats over here for protection. Alright, let's heal up, guys. Alright, now let's head back to base. Coming up on the entrance here to Castle Blood. The only thing is we're going to have to go swimming here. If only they had boats, you know, where you could just put like a little pulley boat. Uh, so you could have like, uh, like on one end you could have like a pulley and somebody pulls the boat. And you put people on the boat and then they just pull you in. That would be awesome. Uh, or just a rowboat would be nice. Everybody's going to have to swim across here at their own pace. Redman's gonna have to stay behind because he's got he's wounded on the chest. He'll never make it. Let's go ahead and put these guys in prison. Let's have Redman put down his um, prisoner, and we'll pick him up with the blood prints. Send the blood prints back across. Come on, Benno, you're gonna make it, man. You're so close. I gotta put some uh, some boxes out here for acid protection. We need to find some, some acid protection gear or craft it. Well, then I'll have to take a break. Got some more prisoner pulls made here. Pixel, let's see. Let's have Pixel run over and grab Red Main. Pixel's got nine swimming, that's pretty good. King Mog over here is up to 250 blood. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's going to take literally like an entire season to get his health back. I mean, I don't even think putting him in a bed will help because it doesn't usually increase your your uh, your blood's recovery. It only increases like your limb recovery from what I've noticed. Could be wrong though. All right, Pixel, pick up Red Main. Let's get back over here. Okay, T Lord, why don't you grab all their weapons? Loot everything they have. Taking a look here, it looks like we're full up on. Let's see, how many electrical components? We got 50, 55 electrical components, pretty much. We've got tons of iron plates, 100 and some, and then building supplies. I think we're full up here. Yeah, we're pretty much almost at 200 building supplies, so that is awesome. We need to start building some crafting now. Um, now that we got our buildings up, we really need to get the crafting stations built. Power-wise, we're doing pretty good here. Won't have to build any wind generators anytime soon. Well, maybe once we get all the interiors done. I've got Jeebus up here uh, building this last harpoon turret. We'll have four, we'll basically have eight turrets up on the top. And then we're going to need to get some steel bars so that we can complete, uh, and maybe some copper alloy plates so that we can complete the multi-barrel harpoon turret. So we'll have a total of ten turrets. And we'll put these two right down at the bottom here. And um, that's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see that when we get attacked next. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. This was pretty crazy. We got more stuff to build here in the next episode. We're going to be going out again. Probably get into some more trouble. If you want to see more Kenshi and more of this series in the future, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. See you again next time. Take care.